Good morning. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. Today's episode, we're working on a Tesla Model 3. So this is a brand new Tesla that came in. It's in for our new car prep. We're gonna coat it in crystal serum light. Now there's a few things on here that we're going to substitute for. We're not gonna do anything on the wheels, just clean them. They're gonna be switched out anyway, so we'll coat the other wheels if the customer wants to do that later. Prep it, polish it, coat the paint, textured plastics, the entire roof here is all glass all of this will be coated as well actually all the glass will be it's brand new it only has a few little minor defects on it that we're going to polish out but overall it's really nice so let's get started it's going to receive of course our full wash the pre-wash the deconning all of that good stuff so let's get started guys if you're enjoying videos like this consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss stuff as usual, our pre-washing is the most important step of this entire process. If you want to see more information about our pre-wash, check out the card up above or I'll have links down below as well. As you see here, we're using the IK Foamer, applying a pre-wash or an APC, letting it dwell, rinsing it off. Why is this beneficial? I explain in those other videos. Go check them out. Washing wheels and tires, well, it's not glamorous, but it is, again, a very important step because this is the dirtiest part of the vehicle. So make sure to use the appropriate brushes and cleaners to clean those wheels and tires. When it comes to drying the vehicle, this is also an important step before polishing or applying a ceramic coating. Why? Well, because one drip of water can mess up an entire panel if you are polishing or applying a ceramic coating. So make sure to blow out all of those crevices, even opening the doors, drying and blowing out all of the door jams. There's a lot of water that hides in some of those cracks and crevices. The paint is super smooth. There's some scratches there. I'm gonna grab my new scan grip light. And as we see, oh yeah, there's some scratching, some light scratching there switch over to the spotlight mode. Not bad, right? So it's not horrible, but it does have some isolated things here and there on the paint that we're going to address. There was like a little light scratch along here and little scratches and swirls there, holograms and swirls there. Yay, we don't have to polish the top. Now these sides here are a glass. They have some sort of a film on it. These seem to be the worst scratches right there. Oh, some more swirls around here, a little bit of swirling here. Also, if you're interested in this light, this is the smaller scan grip light. They also make a giant one that looks like a big lightsaber. This is the one that has the lights on the side here and also the spotlight. It also comes with this long cord to charge and you can run it on this as well. So it is battery powered, of course, and it charges, but you can just connect it and use it corded. That is awesome. I love that feature. There are all sorts of different polishes and compounds out on the market today, and this can be a confusing thing for new detailers. But don't worry. Grab a certain compound or polish that you see that is popular and try it out for yourself. Usually it takes time to get used to a certain compound or polish to get the most out of it. So take your time and really use the compound or polish that you have and learn how to use it. A good rule of thumb is to stick with some of the major companies. Meguiar's, Koch Kemi, the new hybrid solutions from Turtle Wax. These products work extremely well and they're popular and easy to get your hands on. So try some of those out first. And if you want to expand and try out new products, then you can do that later. Do you need to tape up every single vehicle that you're polishing? It's a good question. Check out the card in the corner. I explain some of the pros and cons to using tape. This little scratchy defect was really the only defect that we found on the Tesla, at least one of the major ones. So after a few passes, we used the microfiber disc and some compound and then a polish and it finished out nicely. Thank you. 
that gas cap was really annoying me. Do you need to get one of these little mini polishers? Well, when you start polishing vehicles, you're going to want one. So getting one of these little mini polishers, whether it's an expensive one or an affordable one, it doesn't matter. Grab one, try it out for yourself, see if it works for you. But having a little one inch, two inch, or three inch mini polisher really does help to get into these little tight areas. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna polish the glass using Clarity Cream. I could choose the Sierra glass, but I reserve that for uh, water spots and really bad glass that needs it. This can get removed, this, this can get removed. This can remove water spots also. I'm gonna use a microfiber pad. You can use a foam pad. The microfiber does cut into the glass a little bit better. Fibers get into the, I don't know if you wanna call it pores of the glass, but it does uh, work slightly better than a foam pad. But I've used foam pads on glass before just to prep it and, and it's fine also. This is cool, so even though we're not polishing this like paint, just go over it, you know, two times. That's it, just nice slow, even passes. Um, you're not correcting anything. You're just stripping anything that might be on the glass, if there is anything, and kind of deep cleaning it and prepping it for the ceramic coating. I am gonna use a glass cleaner that is an alcohol-based cleaner. You wanna use something a little bit stronger to remove the residue. Only because you are deep cleaning the glass, you want to remove any of the residue in there. And when it's nice and flat like this, you see that side is unpolished, this side is polished. It's nice and flat and it squeaks. So you know it's nice and clean. Yep. Ah. Oh. That's a nice sound, actually. You'll see it evaporate, and you'll see a distinct line there when it's wet. But as it dries here, keep wiping it, keep wiping it. You can switch over to a dry towel if you so choose, but the glass will be squeaky clean and ready for a coating. Beautiful. So the entire frunk, or front trunk, was ceramic coated. The owner actually requested this. He wanted all of that plastic in there coated with a plastic specific ceramic coating. So that's what we did. We wiped it down and then we used a plastic ceramic coating to protect all of that interior plastic. Why? Well, the customer wanted it and it is going to help cleaning up that plastic so much easier in the future. Now, with ceramic coatings, we usually use the Dr. Beasley's NSP polishes. We didn't use it on this job, but you know what? Now, for future jobs, we're going to use the Dr. Beasley's NSP polishes exclusively for any ceramic coating because they work extremely well. And we've been using those polishes for over two years now, and we're seeing vehicles coming back looking incredible and performing way better than vehicles that we just used a panel wipe. So come to find out, this is actually just a film from factory that is supposed to be removed because the other side didn't have it. There, don't need that. Yeah, it's somewhere over there. We've been using G-Technic Crystal Serum Light now for a number of years and we really enjoy this coating. It's extremely easy to apply, and it can last up to five years. I generally sell this as a three to five year coating, only because of the variables. You never know how much the customer drives it and how it's maintained. But this coating is extremely easy to apply, as you'll see. This coating tells you when it's ready to be removed. When it flashes away like this, all you have to do is take two towels and gently wipe away the rest of that residual. The final result is crystal clear perfection. If this video has been helpful and you've enjoyed it, please subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss stuff. And don't forget to like the video and share it with others who may enjoy it or benefit from it. Definitely check out the video at the end. I hope you enjoy it.